here we will learn to create box plots box plots can be created using seaborn as basic as this and as more even more advanced than this box plots are something which helps us to get the descriptive statistical information in a very simple way hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon let's understand about the box plot box plots is something which provides us a summary of supply data which includes mean median minimum maximum first quartile third quartile and outliers of supply data let's try to understand the elements of a box plot this line which you see at the bottom represents the minimum value in supplied data in our case here we have taken the example of iris data where we are seeing the information about petal width so the lowest line shows minimum petal width this one shows quartile one which is 25 percent of the percentile of the data this white marker you see is the mean of petals width this is not a default element this is something which is optional and you have to categorically mention it in the syntax this line shows the median this one shows third quartile which is 75 percentile of the data this one shows the maximum limit of the supplied data here the uh, these are the other elements which are represented as dot above maximum or below minimum these are referred to be outliers as per the official websites these all are the arguments can be supplied in box plot in our example we will be covering most of them but not all of them if you are interested in learning all of them i strongly recommend to visit the official website for which i'll be providing the link in description section just use that and visit the official website to learn it in detail now let's jump to the jupyter notebook and do the practical of this thing here we are on jupyter notebook the first activity which is which it says is importing all the required libraries so we will start with pandas as pd then import numpy as np import matplotlib.py plot as plt and then the library which we are learning which is seaborn as sns now all the libraries have been imported over here so like we are taking the example of mart data set so that we will just import over here so this is the data frame which is available in excel and we are trying to import that using pd.read excel so our data looks like this it's the same data we have been referring in previous videos as well now here in our consideration we will consider three variables one payment the other one is total and then the gender column we will try to understand what is the proportion of each of the payment method in total sales and by gender we will classify that by gender let's create the first box plot here it says creating a box plot on one numeric variable let's try that so you don't have to do much just say sns dot box plot and in that you need to supply one variable which is total here i'm going to take as that should be numeric variable right and then the data which i want to use will be marked so this is how we have our box first box plus some modification which i would like to make over here is i will just change it its width which i want to keep just 0.5 this is now i want to change the axis i want to make it vertical so i can just do this 
the data which I supplied for x-axis, I just switched it to y-axis. Now we have the vertical box plot. If I want to reduce the width further, I can just say 0.2. Now we have a reduced width box plot. This represents to the outlier. Again, this is maximum. This, this is minimum. This is first quartile, min, median, and this is third quartile. Let's move forward and see what the next problem statement is. Next problem statement is create a basic box plot on one numeric variable by a categorical variable. Here we just saw the statistics about total sales. So the minimum sales is just above zero. Then this is the first quartile and this is the median. Median is somewhere 200 on 50, 250. Then this is the third quartile. Maximum is somewhere 950. All right. Third quartile is somewhere 450. We can consider that. So this is the statistical information we are getting over here. Now let's classify this by payment method. How can we classify this by payment method? All that we need to do is just say SNS dot box plot in that supply the x-axis data which i want to say payment and here on y-axis i would supply the value total and then the data which i want to use that will be mart so data frame will data frame name will never come under quotations keep in mind now here we have the descriptive statistical information for total categorized by payment methods you can see the distribution it is most likely even throughout these three payment methods there isn't much difference in all of these three payment methods let's see it further for the sake of saving time i will just copy this syntax and i'll keep on using this further create a basic Plot, box plot on one numeric variable by two categorical variable so here it says we need to classify it further we just saw the statistical information of total purchase on the supermart and we categorize that by payment method now we also want to categorize it further on gender right so what we can do is we can use hue argument that is h u e in that i will supply the thus third variable categorical variable which will be gender and now here we have the further distribution which you can read and study next problem statement it says is let me just copy it again the next problem statement comes in add mean marker till now we just saw the minimum first quartile median which is of course second quartile then the third quartile and the maximum now we also want to see the mean value of this thing how can we do this for that you don't need to do much just say show means equals to true by default it is set to false now here we have the mean value displayed if you can notice this green marker that is the mean value it is representing to the mean value if it is not very clear we can change the appearance of mean marker how can we do that simply we need to say mean props and for that we will supply the dictionary of formats first thing which i want to say is marker how i want to make it so i want to make a circular marker then marker size or let's say marker face color marker face color that's what i want to change so for that i would say white and then the next thing which i want to say is marker size marker size i want to keep five and then the next thing which i want to do is marker age color Please bear with me. Marker H color. Here I have a spelling error. Marker I have written instead of marker. Please bear with me for the spelling errors. And then here I want to say black. 
let's run this what do you think is this gonna work let's try if this works wow this just worked now we can see the marker color has been changed its age color has been changed let me increase the size of marker if that increases yes so this is big enough to be notified now this indicates to the mean of credit card mean of total purchase made by credit card by female population and this is for male population so this is how you can plot the you can create a box plot based on two categorical variable and see the information of the supply to market data now here is it says let's change it to the horizontal format right so don't need to do much just switch the x and y axis va variables so here i will just make this switch previously we had total on y axis and payment on x axis now here i just changed that and we have the plot in horizontal orientation that's it next thing it says change the color palette change the color palettes and change the line styles right let's try to do that as well so like you can see i'm just copying and pasting the syntax so that we could save on time so here we need to change the colors the color which we are seeing now i just need to save palette and what is the value that i need to supply over here honestly i don't remember that so how we gonna figure it out you don't need to do much just write palette equals to and put the quotation keep it blank this will throw error it will say it's not acceptable value but at the same time it will provide you the list of accepted value so you can choose either of these right and just copy and paste it over here and then bingo you have the different color palette next thing which we're going to do is change the line size so let's say line width that i'm going to make 0.5 so this is quite thinner let me make it to then this is this is slightly thick if you want to make it more thick you can make it more thick let's make it 10 oh this is funny if you want you can play around it by just changing the value whatever fits for you you can keep that this is how you can make the changes or make the adjustment on style part now here let's say here we just saw the distribution of total variable only now what if we in the first view when you are given the data first of all we want to this we would like to decide on variables so what if you want to see the distribution of all the numeric variables how you gonna do that for that you don't need to specify any variable just simply supply the data box plot and in that data equals to mark that's it it will by default pick automatically it will pick the numeric variables and this will provide you the descriptive statistical information about that let's see it here so here you can see oh it's difficult to read we can make it uh, we can adjust it we can make some arrangement for that for that you just need to use pyplot library sorry matplot library uh, pyplot is of course a part of matplotlib so there, there's nothing wrong when i say my uh, pyplot right so plt and in that you're gonna use figure and in that you're gonna use fix size and fix size i will supply 15 is the width and 5 is the height now you can read it very clearly now if you see the values of total and cox those are plotted over here these all have very less significance so accordingly we can read it out and whatever information you require you can get out of it so this is how we can create the box plot using seaborn library thank you very much for watching the video i hope i was able to clarify the doubt and just in case if you have more doubts do not hesitate to put that into the comment section and practice this thing again and again till the time you get comfortable with this until then thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck